wrong in the book. And that's not actually what it is. It just doesn't work as well. The fit doesn't work as well for our dress forms. So I'm gonna tell you a few of those things. One of the things is, it has you figure out the bust point. So I don't know if you wanna look at that or you wanna look at that. It has you figure out where this is by measuring this way and then measuring from here to here. But when we did the chart, we measured from the dropped neck and we dropped the neck a half an inch because you don't want your neckline right up in your throat because then every time you like sit down, it'll choke you. So we drop it a half an inch and we measure from here to the center of the bust tape to get the bust depth. So they have us take that measurement and measure basically from the shoulder tip down to some level here. And that's not as, it doesn't look as good on these forms as if we just measured down the center front the bust depth. So I went ahead and I drew two lines on mine. The bottom line here says J to K, and I have an arrow pointing at it that says book. And then I did J1 and K1, and J1, what I did is I measured down from D, the bust depth, which I forget what number that is on our list, number nine. So I measured down the bust depth on that. Let me just flip and see, did they tell us to add anything? Uh, D to J. Actually, they do B to J, I think. No, they do G to H. G to H. Okay. No, they don't tell us to add anything. Okay, cool. So um, we're gonna so we're gonna measure down the bust depth from D, and we're gonna make that J one, and that's what we're gonna use because that's gonna work better. The other thing they have us do is. For J to K, that's this distance right here. And actually, we're just doing half, so we're gonna do from the center to the bust point. So that's the bust span. That's why on your chart, we divide it in half. In the book, it tells you to add a quarter. Well, if we know why, where that is, why would we add a quarter and move it over here? So I crossed out in my book where it says, um, bust span J to K, it says bust span plus a quarter. Cross out plus a quarter and just do the bust span, um, which is uh, three and five eighths, because we take this total and divide it in half. Mm -hmm. So K gets also moved in a quarter. So K1 is the one we want, and that one doesn't have the quarter inch added. It's just the bust span. Um, I think that's... That's most of it. Um, and then uh, that, that gets us most of the way through the page. And then the next thing I wanted to talk about, so I, I haven't drafted past that, and I'll do that in front of you um, just so you can see. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is on the next page. So in my book, that's page 41. Um, there's a little uh, chart that talks about the um, cup formula. And so it says in there, C, D, D. I think it should say B, C, D, instead of having two D cups. And then if you look at the instructions for uh, when they're drafting the bottom part, when you tip out for P, um, it says one and a quarter. Or, yeah, one and a quarter or one and a half. I crossed it out. It says one and a quarter, which I think is the C cup measurement, but ours are B. Our dress forms are B. So for P, where it says to tip out one and a quarter, we're gonna tip out seven eighths. So I would write that in your book. Just like, and you can write it, write it in pencil. I wrote it in marker, but um, you'll wanna write it in there just so that you remember. And then also, so where it says N to P equals mark one and a quarter, Cross that out, it's seven eighths. It's not one and a quarter. If we do one and a quarter, then it'll be really loose on her because she's a B cup. Seven eighths. Yeah, seven yeah, eighths. And in that little box where it says best cup formula fit test, the first one says C cup N2P equals seven eighths. That should be B cup. And then the next one down says D cup N2P equals one and a half. That should be C and one and a quarter. And then where it says D cup N2P, but
But you don't need C and D. I'm just telling you for your own information. All you need is B, seven eighths. That's all you need. I heard you like. <laughs> no, no, you don't need to draft a B or you don't need to draft a D or a C cup. I just want you to know it so that you have it. You someday it. you may need to draft. You a may B want or C to cup. someday, but you do not need to do it for a grade in this class. Um, okay, so if I go back um, to this draft, I haven't completed it because I started hearing talking, um, and so I decided to stop so that I could show you what I was talking about with the um, bust span and the bust depth. So, um, did everybody get to the point where they drew the B to G line, that new no. strap length? No? All right, so maybe I'll back up. So, I'll quickly run through some, like, what I've done so far, and then I'll slow down when I get to the bust stuff. Because um, everything else is just following instructions and flipping back and forth between the instructions and the chart that we're using for um, form number 27 that we measured. We. By we, I mean me, not you. Um, so A to B is the full length that we talked about from high point shoulder to waist, um, and then they add an eighth of an inch ease. So our full length is on our chart number six is 17 and 5 eighths plus an eighth, that gives us 17 and 3 quarters. So from B to A, that's our center front, it's 17 and 3 quarters, and I wrote that on my pattern, and I want you to do that too. I want you to write A to B equals 17 and 3 quarters. And then the next thing they have us do is the width of it, um, and they just start with the top. So it's not the widest point that we use to measure our paper, but it's giving us some guidelines to draw the shoulder and the armhole and the neck and things. So what they tell us to do is A to C, which is across the shoulder, less one eighth and that has to do be with the fact that we're slanting the line and things get longer but basically they just want you to take the across shoulder um, which is number 14 on our chart seven and five eighths and they want us to subtract an eighth of an inch so that's seven and a half so from a to c is seven and a half and i wrote that on my pattern and i want you to write it too i have a question yeah um so w i guess uh a to d even though you're not using this little part Mm -hmm. and they say D to down there is like center front, you would still write the entire Yes. Line? Okay. Yeah, because you'll need to, you might need to know that later. Okay. And that's why I wrote it down here, because I, if I wrote it up here, it would get cut off at some point. Right. And I want that measurement, I want to be able to remember that measurement, so if something goes horribly wrong later, right. I can start double checking things and measuring things and then realize, oh, that's what I did yeah. wrong. Okay. <laughs> and if it's written on your pattern, it's uh, less mental effort to okay. figure out your problems, yeah. more they, so than rat, 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 checking five places. So yeah. if it's right here it's on your paper. I just wrote that as center front instead of that. Paragraph. And I think the words are good to know, too. Yeah. I didn't because um, I was trying to move quickly, yeah. and I was fielding questions up here, which was slowing me down. And so I didn't write the name of the place yeah. on the body, but the name of the place on the body to me is more meaningful yeah. than A to B. So yeah, full length means something to yeah, me. Yeah. A to B means nothing. Full length, okay. Right? Yeah, I did. And <laughs> so, so when people come up and ask me something about B or P, yeah. you'll see my brain sputtering, and I'm like, I'd be looking at the so book because I don't. Be, <laughs> that A to, that would be full length. Correct. Center front would be B. Right. Okay. So, a to B, if we're looking at the form, yeah. it's from here to okay. here. Full and then, okay. yeah. yeah, and then the, the D is here, uh -huh. so it's from that's here it. to here. Yeah. Cool. So that's how that's working. Yeah. So D is where we're going to have the base of our neckline when we draw it. Yeah. And we haven't gotten to this in this particular talk, but I is where our shoulder is going right. to start, the other intersection of our neck. Um, okay, so we just talked about full length, which is that guy there, and then now it's asking about, or actually we just talked about going across. So when you go, to go across from A to C, make sure that you square it. Um, whenever you're going across, make sure that you square. The only ones that are sometimes not square are the diagonal lines, and I say sometimes because sometimes you do square them. Um, so uh, A to C is uh, cross shoulder minus an eighth, and then B to D is the center front length. So that's what we just talked about. So center front length is uh, five. I just want to look at it real quick. Center front length in the front. Okay, so it's uh, 15 and then minus three eighths. I said a half when I was talking earlier, but it's three eighths for the drop neck. 
So if we measure from here to here, we get 15, but we want to drop it 3 eighths of an inch. So that's how we get from 15 minus the 3 eighths is 14 and 5 eighths. So from the center front waist up to the center front neckline, which they're calling B to D, that's going to be 14 and 5 eighths. And then B to E is the bust arc. So they say, and that's the measurement from like under the arm to the center front bust. And that measurement they have, we have on our chart number 17, we have nine and five eighths. And then we always tip out a quarter of an inch at the underarm, almost always. In this case, we're adding a sleeve. So we need the quarter of an inch ease. So they're having us take that bust arc plus a quarter of an inch ease. So that's nine and five eighths plus a quarter is nine and seven eighths. And that's where they're having us draw, where are we? What are they having us do? And if I say B to E, okay, so that's, they're having us put that down here. I didn't label it, E. So B to E equals, what did I say, nine and seven eighths? And I think I was talking when I did this, so let me just check my measurement, because I find sometimes that I can't do two things at once. So I just wanna make sure that should be nine and seven eighths. Okay, cool. Um, and that was squared, so the E line is squared to the A to the B line. So it's right now all these angles are all squared to each other, or lines are all squared to each other.